Hi, I'm Leah Cairns. I played racetrack on Battlestar Galactica. Please join us for a chat with BSG Museum. Um, so first off, uh, welcome to Seattle. Um, how are you? How are you doing? How are we doing in Seattle? Seattle, the weather is unbelievable, and we're having a great convention. And have you ever been here before? Have I ever been to Seattle? Yeah, I've been to Seattle quite a few times. I live. I'm a neighbor. We live just across the border in Vancouver, so we come down all the time. Um, and after two years, Savannah and Seattle, it finally happened. How do you feel about that? Uh, Seeing the two girls meet for the first time was definitely a highlight of my life. Those two little girls have been calling each other best friends for two years, so it was kind of surreal to finally see them meet. But I think that my favorite moment was when they were both in their chairs being pushed down the street by their moms, but they insisted on holding hands and they were taking up the entire sidewalk. And you know what? Give it to them. They deserve it. Exactly. <laughs> Um, and how has that two-year journey been for you and for, for the girls? The last two-year journey supporting Savannah in Seattle has been a very, very emotional journey. I, I'm not the kind of person that likes to ask people for help or to ask people for favors. I think that that's really difficult for most people to do. And it, sending out the original email even to my Battlestar family asking them to support the girls and to help me out with the GoFundMe page. I was so nervous. I, you know, I had to psych myself up to hit send. And I think it probably took about five minutes for the first response, which I believe was from Edward James almost saying, I'm on it, I'm tweeting right now. And I think maybe 20 minutes later, Mary McDonald came forward and said she was gonna go and talk about them on an interview for Hallmark Channel she was doing the next day. And just seeing, human nature, people love to help, you just got to let them know how. It's been a real lesson for me in that over this last two years. Every single time I ask someone for something, they come through even bigger than I usually ask for. And it, it's been really, it's been really helpful. How did the lithograph come about? So there is a, a, a fan, a wonderful fan named Todd, who lives here in the States, and I met him, he sent me a letter, and I think my second season of Battlestar Galactica, saying that he's raising money for cancer uh, research, and could I send him something from the show. So I put together a little package, and I sent it to him, and this is years and years ago, and um, we became friends that way. And so when he heard about Savannah in Seattle, he's used to raising money, so he thought, well, I'm just going to make a little detour from cancer, and I'm going to go into Savannah in Seattle. So he was at a convention, and he got some people together, and they raised a good chunk of money for the girls. So when he found out about G4, he thought, wouldn't it be cool if we were to make a racetrack comic book that could be sold exclusively in G4 for the fans? Well, we need an art cover for that book. So we thought, I wonder if Eric Chu would do it. And I said, yeah, of course we could. And he said, oh, okay, well, I kind of know him, and, and I can you know, contact him and see what he says, and I have you as backup in case he says no or says maybe, and to cut follow through. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure I will. So he contacted Eric Chu, and he got back to me, but I felt like five seconds later, I went, oh. Eric said yes. I'm like, of course he said yes. He's part of the Battlestar family. Of course he said. It didn't, it didn't shock me at all that he said yes. So the comic book fell through. We couldn't get a company that was willing to make it. So he said, Eric has done this artwork. I wonder if we could just make it a, a lithograph. So of course Eric is like, yeah man, and made that piece of artwork. And then Todd paid to have 100 copies of it made and then shipped it to me and I picked it up and here it is. So that same thing to Eric, um, Eric and Todd that that happened. And uh, again, just ask for help. People come through every time. 
you um, how did you end up being racetrack, uh, the destroyer of Cylons and the finder of planets? How did that come to be? Ah, oh, how did I come to be racetrack? That is a very funny story. Um, I was at a, another audition before I auditioned for Battlestar, and I, it made me. Uh, they were running behind, and I was very, very, very late for my audition. And my agent had told the casting director, "Oh, she's got this other audition across town." she may or may not be able to make it. And I was so late that I assumed that the, I had missed the audition. And I was not prepared to do the audition because I was so late. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go in and tell them sorry, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna end up doing it. And I walked in, I'm like, hey, sorry guys. They're like, oh, we're running behind too. That's great, fantastic, come on in. I was like, oh. Oh, uh, okay, uh, can you just give me one second? And I ran downstairs to the bathroom, I'm frantically looking through the, the, the audition sides and reading them, I'm like, okay, I can do this, I can do this, and I turned around to run out of the bathroom door, and one of the stall doors had been left open, and I ran right into it, knocked myself down, and I, I had hit myself right here, and, I th and it, it hurt, it hurt real bad. And I had no time, I had already made these people wait for me, so I ran upstairs, Michael Reimer was in the room, and I did the audition, and my adrenaline was just uh, pumping because I thought I'd broken my face. And so, I guess it lent itself towards the scene where my, I, they didn't give me a racetrack scene, it was a scene that had already happened in pre a previous episode where one of the characters crashed and it crash landed and so it was a really high stakes scene and I guess me thinking my face was broken lent itself to the part and he picked me. Now you're here on the, the other side of the convention table. What's that like to be like on, on the actor side of the convention line? To be on the actor side of the convention line? It's a pretty surreal experience. I've only had one experience before of being on the fan side. And I was at a, my first convention I ever did in the States. Peter Mackey was there. Chewbacca from Star Wars. And I, I had a real fat girl moment and I wanted to go over and say hi. And I was at all. I, I, I grabbed my money. I didn't know. I didn't know how what, how it worked amongst the actors and an actor signed things for free for each other. But I didn't know that, so I grabbed my money and I'm standing in line waiting to meet Mr. Mayhew. And I got so nervous. And I thought, oh my God, is this what people feel like when they are on my side of the table? And it was a really good experience to feel that. And uh, it, it's nerve wracking. And I really applaud the people who go up and, and, and stand. And, and it's um, a humbling feeling having people. I want to pay you for it. Uh, feels good. Now, on to, uh, to an oncoming project of yours, you're in the uh, web series Coded. What yeah. can you tell us about that? Coded. Coded is a story written by a very talented man by the name of Steve Neufeld. Uh, it's about a teacher who is a first time teacher teaching a classroom of coded children, coded meaning they've got some kind of behavioral problem and the school system has given them a, a code. It's not a very pleasant thing, but um, the, uh, that's what we do in one of the provinces in Canada, coded children. And so it's a class of kids with behavioral issues. And you get to go in and see their lives and see where they're coming from and then have some sympathy for these poor teachers that has got to round them up and try and teach them. And I am playing a mom of one of the children. And I don't want to do any spoiler alerts, but she's a bit inappropriate. And I'm really excited to play her out. You tweeted slutty mom. Yeah, I know, I tweeted slutty mom. And then I got in trouble for, they're like, oh, you kind of gave some stuff away. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't seen it yet. It, the first five episodes are done. And we're having a launch party soon, so I'm excited to actually see them. I haven't seen them yet, but it was incredible. We hired, uh, we cast Donnelly Rhodes to be the grandfather of one of the students, which was really fun to be reunited with him. It was, it was great. So this is just an open message to all the people around the world who have supported Savannah and Seattle over the past two years. I applaud all of you. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. I love you.